Hello guys, welcome to the next tutorial from the mechanism series of our tutorials. So in this tutorial I will show you how to build uh, industrial turbine, which I mentioned in the previous uh, video of this thermoelectric boiler, which we built to, so we can produce steam, which we are already producing. And we can use this steam uh, to power the turbine, so turbine will generate us some good energy. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so we will need all these items. I put them in the chest so you can uh, pause the video or uh, slowly uh, check them. So we will need turbine casing, structural glass, turbine valve, pressure disperser, electromagnetic coil, saturating condenser, turbine vent, rotational complex, turbine rotor, and turbine blade. <coughs> okay, so let's start. I will take all these items in my inventory and we can start building the turbine. <coughs> so I will build the smallest one because uh, we don't need uh, very big for this tutorial. I can build of course the bigger one, but we will uh, build the small one. So, <clears throat> we will need to build a 5x5 five five square, again, like in previous tutorial. So, again, 5x5. Five five five. So, we have middle in the, uh, this square. Okay, we can fill this. Now, we will build up. Uh, I will build, let's say, 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, we will do same on each side. So like this, eight blocks on each side. Okay, again eight, and one more time. Okay, we are like this. Now we can uh, connect uh, top together like this. Oh, okay, now we can uh, fill this hole. Okay, very good. Okay, now we'll start putting uh, on this side uh, nine blocks. So we, we will put here uh, the, this thing, saturating condenser. We'll put it here like this. Uh, it must be on the very top. Now we will put uh, below this one, we will put electromagnetic coil again. Uh, same pattern, 9 blocks. Okay, very good. Now we will put here, in the middle, we will put a rotational complex. So like this. Okay, and now around the rotational complex in this space, we will put a pressure disperser. So it's this one. We'll put like this around. Okay, very good. Now we can go up again and fill this so we don't see it actually and uh, it will complete the structure later. Okay, fill on each side. Like this. We can fill it here as well. But uh, one more thing. We must uh, put here, for example here, or you can put it here, it doesn't matter. You must put uh, turbine vents, so like this. You can put uh, also here, it doesn't matter, but the more you have, the more uh, production rate you will have, but you will also need uh, the bigger turbine. So I will put like this, you can put it on each side, or you can put it also here, but I don't need it currently. Okay, now uh, let's put the glass, so we can see into the turbine. Like this each side we can fill it. Oh. Okay, no problem. Okay, fill this. Okay, but don't fill it yet. We need to uh, put here into the rotational complex. We need to put turbine rotor. So like this, it will connect, and you need to uh, connect it all the way to the ground so it connects. Uh, so blades on the rotor uh, can spin. Okay, and 
this last step we can uh, we need put uh, blades on the, the ro rotor so turbine blade it's called i will put it here and you can put it like this and this is max i can go because my turbine is small so i don't have more ro uh, rotors so this is max i can fit inside okay now we can finish the structure fill the glass and the turbine has been built industrial turbine you can see do you can see the capacity max flow and here are the statistics you can see my production rate and the water output and you can see i have limiting blades and vents so but uh, it's no problem it will work and so uh, okay one more thing we need put uh, on the for example on this side the turbine valve so we can uh, take steam from the boiler into the our turbine so you can put it uh, for example here it will work or you can uh, put it on the top it doesn't matter it will still still work okay so i will put it uh, here on the downside and uh, we need put uh, one more turbine valve uh, from this side or you can put it from this side it doesn't matter again uh, to output energy which turbine generates so we can use this energy or store it into, up to you so like this and it's done you have built your industrial turbine okay and as final step we can connect it with our thermoelectric boiler so we can transfer the steam which is here into the turbine so our blaze will spin and it will generate energy okay so i'll put all these things back into the chest because we don't need them anymore and we can take the ultimate pressurized tube or it can be any basic or advanced or elite it doesn't matter i choose uh, ultimate one and now uh, we will need one more thing i need to show you because we can forget it you need configurator so you can uh, configurate uh, this boiler valve to the output i already have it from the previous tutorial i show it there but i will show you one more time you have the configurator and you press shift and the uh, mouse wheel button in the middle of your mouse and scroll so you can see in the middle above my inventory you can see it's uh, changing the modes uh, you can choose from and we will choose configurate items this is what we need now just shift and right click on the boiler valve uh, block so shift plus right click and as you can see in the chat it's changing and telling you what is it so i will change it you can see input and we need output so it's a uh, red square okay that's it now we will just connect the them together so like this shift and connect it and as you can see turbine is spinning it's very fast right now because we had a lot of steam in there but as you can see it's slowing down very slowly you can see we have steam but it's uh, decreasing already and generating us energy but uh, it's reducing production rate because steam is reducing of course and uh, we will have less and less because we need more and more and more steam and we need a lot of boilers for this but it's very good okay so as you can see you have already energy and it's generating so it's good now you can output this energy from this uh, turbine valve we put here uh, using the basic uh, universal cable from the mechanism mod as well you can see universal cable i choose again the ultimate one but it can be any basic or advanced it doesn't matter and just connect it together like this i will connect it to this energy cube as you can see it's currently empty but if i will connect it you can see energy flow is flowing in and we have there already 1.02 mfe so it's good we took all our energy from the turbine and we can store it and use it for our tools or machinery any use case 
from the mechanism or uh, any other mods which is compatible with mechanism so yeah that's it guys for this tutorial i hope you learned something and you can now build it yourself it's very simple as you can see uh, easy steps to follow so yeah thank you very much for your support and uh, thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next tutorial or mechanism tutorial thank you guys bye bye